Well, good evening, everyone. Um, another day. It is uh, Tuesday, 4 21 2020. A little tired today. Got a lot going on. To put a deposit down. Um, correction on the size of the RV. It turns out it's 30 feet. Uh, once I measured it, and climbed underneath it and made sure everything was okay. A lot of damage on the inside. It's going to take a tremendous amount of work. However, um, planning to pick it up tomorrow, put it up on the property, and go from there. A lot of people told me um, need to add more content pictures of the property and the RV and what we're doing. Patience. It's all coming. Once it's up there, it's a whole new ball game. Because I'm going to show you uh, just how bad things can be and how quickly you can rip them out and change it and make a living environment. People are so afraid. Um, the coronavirus is just crazy. I don't, I haven't encountered anybody with it. Um, people tend to freak out and it's unfortunate. You can go about your day and not have to deal with that at all. Big cities, different story. Rural areas, there's no problem. Man. I'm not in harm's way. Nobody around me is in harm's way. We have uh, started the barter system uh, with my friends. You help somebody hang a ceiling, they come and help you move an RV. It's starting. No money exchanged. You help, they help. Simple, back to the beginning of time. Barter. It's so simple, but uh, not everybody gets it. Everybody still believes the government is going to save us. That's unfortunate. Historically, that's not what happens, but uh, I'm not going to argue with anybody. Don't have the time. I'm going to put myself together. I'm going to survive. And the best way to do that is to uh, keep a clear head, stay on point, utilize your barter friends. We can all help each other. And it's growing. Thanks, Simon, uh, for the phone call and all your intel. I'll definitely help you with your property. And, um, Tommy, videos are coming. Got to get the RV up there first, brother. <laughs> so we'll add some more video. Probably, uh, more than we can do now because it's, the beginning stages are kind of boring. But if you listen and you follow, and you see that you can get things done with very little money, it might be something to adhere to later if you ever need to do this yourself. Um, you don't have to spend hundreds, thousands of dollars. You can get things done for pennies on the dollar. Save your gold and silver. Do not trade it in now too soon. When that thing skyrockets, as it's going to, because you can't keep bailing out and spending money. And the oil companies went bankrupt today. Uh, you just got to watch. Don't go blindly along and think everything's going to turn out okay. Pay attention to what's happening. People are losing their jobs and they're not coming back. 
I drive around this little town. Everything's closed. It's a ghost town. Wild animals are starting to take over. Uh, not take over, but uh, feel free. They walk around the city. They walk around the town. They walk. No people around. So they're just walking around. Wow. No cars. No people. So you go downtown. There's deer walking across the street. That hasn't happened up here. And I think it's going to become prevalent in other places. But uh, it is what it is. Everyone has to look at what's happening and make their own decisions and what they're happy with. I'm not going to give advice on that. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And I need to prepare for what I believe. Don't be caught last minute. And say, oh my God, what am I going to do? It's a horrible place to be in. Pace yourself. Start looking and listening. And watch. And see what really is happening. Don't count on the news. They're not going to tell you the whole truth. My best advice is educate yourself. Get out of a big city. Because no matter what happens, that's just a bad place to be. The country is always better. It's always, uh, you know, it's always a little easier. Of course, you know, you've got your permitting. You've got, you've got things you've got to do to be legal and to maintain structure. However, there's a lot more freedom. You don't have to lock your door at night. Not now. Maybe in the future, but not now. Things are going well. The RV was a big win. Everybody is in line. I'm going to go to the permit office tomorrow. Take care of all that happy stuff. Don't even have to put a septic in yet. So that saves me three grand. Um, short video. I'm kind of tired today. I'll give you more information. And I'll definitely put in uh, more substance. Once the RV is up on a property, you know, that's going to be a big undertaking. It's going to take tomorrow. And then uh, I'll start shooting video of what it looks like for real, what it's going to take for real, and uh, the layout, the potential, and everything that goes along with that. So it's like day 10. We get a lot done in a short period of time when you put your mind to something. But you've got to be diligent on your idea. You got to wake up early. You got to get things done. You can't sleep until 10. Have coffee till 12. Complain on the phone till 2 and then wonder what happened to your day. It don't work. You got to do it or don't. My recommendation is if you're going to do something, do it. Or don't talk about it. So, it was a good day today. I hope everybody's happy and healthy. Uh, the coronavirus seems to be dissipating. Um, people are easing up a lot around here. People are shaking hands and saying hi. And it's just the craziness is starting to subside. Mm -hmm. Everything's good here. Uh, I had dinner, got a shower, ready for tomorrow's venue. Got my uh, alarm set at six. Got to be up and ready to roll. Um, this is my new job. Still got an alarm clock. But, it, but it's for the future, and it matters. 
So uh, have a good night, and I'll uh, talk to you soon.